Good morning, Miss Rachel. Are you ready to crush the day? You ready to get in the wasted steps? <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. This is the latest start we've had so far. So it's 8.40 right now. Um, last night, I was up super late trying to figure out the whole kind of editing strategy we're gonna employ for these videos. Um, and also too, just trying to figure out how we can have people that are interested in our um, Intention Society membership program, how they can possibly make payments if they're in countries like um, Nigeria, um, other places in Africa, uh, places in Southern or South America, like Brazil, because we have so many followers that want to do programs, but their currencies don't align um, or they don't have access to like a debit or credit card. So. We're trying to figure that out and usually when I'm talking to people, a lot of times I have to talk very late because they are in different time zones. Um, for example, the person that I was speaking to yesterday was in Nigeria. So I'm up late, they're up early or something like that, I believe. <laughs> and we're just having a um, conversation trying to figure that out. But anyway, this morning, quick breakfast because we're going to the gym. Don't want to take any more time. So just going to do some cereal and some yogurt. That way I got the protein and carbs and then get to this upper body session. Decided to go with some oatmeal and a little bit of cereal. So this will be a nice little carb source here before the session. Also, banana. And then, uh, like I said, we got some yogurt here. We got the collagen, like I've been showing you guys. And then the vitamins, so the fish oil. Um, also have just the multivitamin uh, fish oil and magnesium. Put this down and then we're gonna head to the gym. Got upper body today. Um, it's not really a, a busy day, so it's kind of a lighter day. Still have to go do some client work, but I don't have any client calls, don't have any sessions, um, Zoom sessions or anything like that. So it's just gonna be gym, um, going to a coffee shop, doing some client work. And then we might hit up somewhere to get some Christmas decor, possibly. We'll see. So, just pulled up to the gym. We have upper body on the agenda. And how I normally do my upper bodies is since I'm doing a four times per week split, sometimes I do five, where I do three upper body days and two lower body days per week. Sometimes I do six, or I'm just going back and forth alternating. But right now, it seems to be four is the happy spot. And that's why I like those upper lower splits, because I can kind of, each week I can be, I can, it can change each week, it doesn't matter. Like if I only go to the gym two times per week, which I, that never happens, I go more than twice per week. But if that did happen, at least I'd have one day where I hit upper body and one day where I hit lower body. If I go four times per week, then you know I got two and two. If I go five, I can prioritize either lower or upper, whichever I'm feeling needs more work that week, etc. So that's why I like that split right now. It works well with my lifestyle. Um, if I was doing more of the bro split, then if I missed a day or two days, then I would feel like I would really be behind the eight ball on that. So, um, really digging the upper lower split. And I also make sure I alternate between push and pull as far as my first exercise of the day. So last time I did a push for the first time or a pull for the first time. So this time I will be doing push for the first time. So. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm taking up all the space in the gym because there's not that many people here except for Erica. And of course she needs the bench that I'm recording on, so. <laughs> now you guys can say hi to the pregnant cute woman in the back behind me. I was just saying say hi. <laughs> uh, what are you doing today? Upper body? You doing some shoulders? Uh, I'm jealous. I can't even do shoulders right now because my shoulders still bother me. Uh, that's why I'm trying to take a little more time to warm up and get loose. Uh, first up, I'm just gonna do flat chest press. Because of my shoulder, I'm doing more chest pressing than I normally would do. Um, the, the, this motion here feels fine. Incline is a little off, so I have to feel a little bit better using the machine because there's more stability, so I'll get into that as well. I'm just gonna start with flat chest press. 
get warmed up. So I'll start a little bit lighter weight and then get into the, the first couple actual working sets. First up, we got some 50s. These should feel like butter. Just getting loose, getting the joints nice and lubricated. <laughs> there we go. Oh yeah. Shoulder feels fine right now. So I think we'll be good today. I just can't really do any overhead shoulder pressing right now or even the incline. Um, even when I was doing that little warm up there with the bar or the pipe, I felt a little bit in my shoulder. So got to be cautious and be aware because we don't want any setbacks. <sighs> I'm on Instagram boyfriend <laughs> duty. Uh, roll reversal. A roll reversal for sure. Ready. Let's do it. I gotta get those angles to make sure people can see that she's pregnant and not just think she's fat. <laughs> Easy, it's light work, come on. Yep, do it for the baby. Boom. Look at this. Oh yeah, you got more in the tank. Keep going. Push, push, push. That's what I'll be saying to you in the hospital. Drop. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I messed up the flow on that one. <laughs> Second little warm up set. We got 65s. And this will feel pretty easy too, I assume. Yep, so my max on this exercise, uh, relative max as far as like recently in my life, because I think I hit 150s many years ago, but I was stronger then. It's also a lot thicker. But this past year, the most I hit on this was 140, I think, for like two reps or something. But a lot of gyms don't go that heavy with their dumbbells. So this gym only goes to 100 pounds. So I actually have to hit higher volume here because I can do those hundos double digits pretty easy. And if you guys run into a scenario like I'm running into right now where uh, the weight is only 100 pounds and I can do many reps with that, it's okay. Just use what you have and go to failure anyway. As long as you're not doing like, you know, over 25 reps, that's kind of where I like to draw the line. And you're still going to be in good position to see hypertrophy. So you just got to reach true failure. And I can definitely fall within that range that five on the low end, five, six on the low end. 25 30 on the high end and obviously i'm not going to be able to do 30 reps with the 100s <laughs> we'll see how well it goes when i get there but we got 80 pounds here this is gonna be the last warm-up set and then i'll get into the first working set with the hundos wait wait it's crazy because I think I started lifting triple digits on this when I was like, I don't know, 18 or something. So I could have, just imagine all the weight that I've lifted in my life, that's crazy. <sighs> all right, so we're taking the hundreds for a spin. First working set. Um, give me your guess, how many things you're gonna do? So last week I did this first set, I did 13 reps. I'm feeling like I'm gonna at least get that. Erica says 15. What's your guess? Let's find out. <sighs> Ooh, it actually feels kind of heavy. Uh-oh. Missing the bench. The metal weights. The metal weights. It instantly adds like 10 pounds. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Ooh. Three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Oh, ah. she hyped me up. Ah. Pretty exhausted after that first set. I'm looking like I'm probably gonna get like, I ain't gonna put no numbers on it. You just take your rest period, 
when you feel like you can get back into it, get back into it. I would say on a set like that, you really push yourself, give yourself at least three minutes in between sets, and then no longer than five minutes really. So take your time, do your thing, get back into that next set. Ooh. Yep. <clears throat> Ah, damn. So wait, that was only 10 or 11? Ah, that burned. All right, we got one more set of these to go back on the topic of the rest period. Really like, if you can't get more than five, six reps, then you probably need to take a longer rest or reduce the weight. So don't get sloppy out here, guys. Ooh, I'm feeling it. One more set. Last set. Now we gotta get at least one set on the phone for the gram and for the Discord, for the Intention Society. So turn up one more time for you guys. Let's go. Yeah. Gonna hit some rows here. And oddly, my shoulder feels the most pain right now when I do row motions where my elbow is more flared out and it's a little bit focused higher on the back. So when I'm here like this, a high row doesn't feel right. I do underhand, it feels a lot better actually. So I've been doing that recently just to avoid feeling that pain so it don't make things worse. So going underhand, row, pulling low. In this position here, we're tight to the body, so it's more of a lat focus. Trying to get that elbow going as far back behind the body as we can. Got 10. So we got three sets here, anywhere from eight to 12 reps. Key factor, train to failure, you know the deal. Excuse me, miss. How many more sets do you have? All right, all right, can I, can I work in then? Be a lot of weight switching, but <laughs> we'll, we'll see what we can do. Come on, let's work. Up, 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 drive it, let's go. Show them what failure is, push, push, push. Okay. <laughs> Good work, no wasted steps. This is, what is this, 181, this is 200 right here. So, it's a new PR on this specific machine. And I like this machine, I did it for 11 reps on the first set last time at 180. So we'll see how this one goes. Try to hit a new 10 rep PR on this specific machine. Let's get it. <sighs> Seven. I didn't get ten, but I tried. <laughs> Set two. Instagram girlfriend. Action. Uh oh. 
So yeah, I only got, I think that was only five, maybe six. So I'm gonna have to reduce the weight because next set I probably go even less. So less reps. So I can't talk. Lower on the weight, probably the best bet. Time to lose the pump cover. <sighs> got the 2XL top on. <laughs> My only 2X T I've ever had. <sighs> if I can get this off. Here's the trick, getting it off without knocking the hat off. There we go. Not too bad. All right, so here's the physique today. I got a 2XLT and like a small stringer. This stringer's too small, but it was like $5 at Ross, so I had to cop it. I like purple a lot, if you can't tell. Lakers play tonight too, go Lake Show. I had to reduce the weight down to 160, so now I just got a 35, uh, 35 and a 45 on each side. And I should be able to get, you know, more than six reps on this. But you don't know till you do it. You just go till you can't. So yeah, good thing I dropped that because I only got eight even with that lower weight. Whew. Thank goodness this is over. Now going back to a back exercise. So as you saw with the push exercise, the first one was a flat focusing more on middle lower chest. This one has more of an inclined angle so we're focusing more on the upper chest. And then on the rows, we we're here tight to the body with the vertical pull or with the, uh, excuse me, with the horizontal pull on the first one. Now we're going to go into a vertical pull here because of my shoulder, I'm going to go underhand. So it's still gonna be a little bit more lat focused because I'm gonna be more narrow, but I gotta do what I can with my shoulder. So vertical pulls next. So just underhand tier, pulling down, keeping the elbows tight to the body, trying to get that bar low towards the top of your chest. Going for another three sets, aiming for failure because I got the machine maxed out. It's uh, 200 pounds according to the machine. So I'll probably fail within eight to 12 reps. Oh, it's heavy. That was harder than I thought it was gonna be, so <laughs> I'm gonna reduce the weight. All right, next up, we got the easy work. Kind of easy. So we got some tricep extensions, and then we're gonna superset that with easy bar curls, and that's gonna be a wrap for the workout. So let's bring this on up. Load up some weight. And get to it. Thirteen reps, so might change the weight next time. It's like nine to the rest, so that's pretty good. Keeping the weight the same. For this last superset, we're just going back and forth between the bicep and the tricep. It's gonna be four sets, um, anywhere from eight to 12 reps. Try to get somewhere in that rep range, fail somewhere at that rep range. And that's it for the workout. So I'm gonna go get some food, probably head to the coffee shop, and continue on with the day. Post-workout meal prepared by Miss Erica. 
I'm very grateful because she be hooking it up all the time and I need it because if I prepare it myself, it doesn't taste anywhere near as good. <laughs> or look as good. Or This doesn't look that good though. Yeah, this just looks like dog food. <laughs> some mashed up protein and carbs, which is perfect. Probably, what is this? It's potatoes, ground turkey, or like taco seasoned ground turkey, um, some eggs and egg whites, and a little peppers and some cheese. Okay. So obviously we got the carbs from the potatoes, protein from the turkey, and the eggs, egg whites. It's just egg whites or whole eggs too? Two whole eggs, no, between our, both of ours, two whole eggs okay. and egg whites. Gotcha. So there's a little bit of fat in here from the turkey, eggs, and cheese, but not over the top. So solid post-workout meal. Let's dive in. Oh, I like that. It's like hamburger helper, but a different vibe to it. It's like, almost like a breakfast burrito. Breakfast burrito hamburger helper. <laughs> <laughs> sure. It was good. I feel like hamburger helper is more like pasta. You're right. Breakfast burrito is a better description. <laughs> See how little I know. Come on! She's scared! <laughs> Rachel always freaks out when my mom comes over. It's her favorite person. It's funny how she, now she's starting to cry, like when she hears your name. <laughs> Rachel, are you excited, buddy? Are you excited? <laughs> Go say what's up. Come here, Rachel. Oh, watch your tail, buddy. Watch your tail. <laughs> Mom, say what's up to my vlog. Hello. I tried to introduce you last week, but you weren't home. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're doing a, a vlog every day of December. Every day of December? Every day of December. Okay. It's called Vlogmas. So we ended up deciding not to go to the coffee shop today and just work from home. No, we're going to make it like a coffee shop in here. Yeah, and I need a, I want it. I don't really always want to go to the coffee shop. That's more Erica's thing. But I've been enjoying it recently, and it does help me kind of get out of my funk if I feel like I'm in a funk. And I'm feeling pretty tired right now because I'm feeling so funky. Like, I'm feeling sleepy, so. <sighs> but you know, we gotta do what we gotta do. Make sure everyone's good. Continue to make sure no one wastes any steps. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're just gonna do some client work. Nothing major, uh, and that's really it. So you guys don't need to see this. But my mom took Rachel which is always a perk. One of the main reasons why we moved to Ohio is my mom. My mom is awesome. And she's gonna be a big influence in our little man's life coming up. So we wanted to make sure that we are closer to home for that. And Rachel gets to hang out with their grandma too. It's all fun. So let's get to work. We are off to Target. Another one of Erica's, I don't know if it's one of your favorite places, but you just like to do stuff together. And I like doing stuff with you too. <laughs> and uh, Target is one of those places that I never really was into until we moved to, uh, to Northern California. We had a Target right next to our apartment. And then I became a Target guy. And I started buying candles and stuff. So, um, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. a real Target guy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we're about to head to Target now. Uh, we kind of made the decision that we weren't going to do the whole all out Christmas type decor just because we're already late. It's already December 5th. So we're kind of behind the ball on that. So we're just gonna do something, you know, a little cute. And I made a, a small mention of possibly doing like a matching onesie or PJs and Erica got really excited. I saw it in her eyes. So that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> and here we go again. Follow the leader, just like yesterday. <laughs> I've never shopped for pajamas or onesie yeah, ever we did shop for pajamas for the super bowl party oh we did shop for, i did i did no it wasn't super bowl it was the Ohio State game no was it oh yeah you're right. yeah um but look i think we found it 
This not it? All this stuff looks like matchy onesie type stuff. And the main objective, or not main objective, the main reason that we're doing this is, you know, since we're doing the vlog, Mr. trying to be more festive, more into it. We want to have a nice little intro, like all those other vlog, Miss vlog people. Yeah? We're trying. We're trying, you know, we're rookies in the game. <laughs> Uh, you know, maybe we'll send out some Christmas cards. Probably not. What um, clients we are. We can put this photo in the Christmas card. <laughs> oh, what's you saying like that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe, I guess clients might want to see that. Y'all want to see that? <laughs> uh, you know, we can send out a little e-Christmas card to our, our friends and family. <laughs> send a text. <laughs> send a text. You know, that, that works. You know, we're under 30, so. Well, I am 30. Yeah. But still kind of under 30. I'm in my 30th year. We found a little Christmas section. I like this one. You like that one? What you guys think? I like the one that's in my hand. I like the... I just don't like the buttons. Oh, yeah. The buttons are wack. You're right. Forget the buttons. Yeah, we don't want buttons. No, this, that's fine. All right. We're really struggling to make the decision if we want to go with this one that has a softer bottom but it's not the jogger like cuffed tight around the ankle. It's more cozy. And then we have this one where it is the jogger type of the pant, but it's not as soft. So the dilemma is real right now. Gotta weigh out the options. Well, we can try and put them together. <laughs> like, match All right, so this was our final decision. And now she's already looking at other stuff. So let's go. <laughs> she thinks the pony needs a robe. She thinks I need a robe. I don't need a robe. It's like a blanket you can wear. We keep our house really cold. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be warm in our new matching Christmas Vlogmas attire. Oh, it's really good Christmas decorations. Oh man, oh man. Should we should we? go to the dollar store to do that. Yeah. Hold us luck. <laughs> All right. The Target Adventure continues. We need candles? I knew this was gonna happen. I knew this was gonna happen. <laughs> well, at least we got one Black Santa. Black Mrs. Claus. White Mrs. Claus. <laughs> she about to open it up. She don't care. I'm sure about the size. All right. Got to be confident in the decision. This, we got a black Santa plate. We got the whole stack filled. We got white Santa. There's only two left. <laughs> Man, damn. <laughs> oh, we, we got a whole bunch black of black Santa. Santas back here, black man. Santa. All these black Santa. White Santa. It's about to be sold out. <laughs> Come on, come on, Black Santa, come should we get, on. Should we get one? Yeah, let's, let's buy one just to help them out. So they keep making them. Look, they got Black Santa all down here. Oh my <laughs> gosh. We gotta help Black Santa out. We gotta buy like five of them. Black Santa and White Mrs. Claus. <laughs> let's do it. New game plan. We think we might just buy these $10 pans because the whole package that we showed you guys before is $25. So we'd be spending $50 on some stuff that we wouldn't really wear that much. Um, so we're thinking maybe we just buy the $10 pants, buy two of those, that's $20. So then we're saving $30. Just wear, you know, a basic tee we already have. Hmm, probably gonna go with that. Okay, we're back with a new game plan. So we actually decided that we like these better, but a lot of people must like these because there's pretty much no sizes available. So we're gonna try to finesse the situation as best we can because we like this better, it's cheaper, and we're gonna try our best. So I'm gonna go ahead and try on a kid's extra large <laughs> and a regular large because that's all we got. We'll see if we can make that work. So me and Erica were the same size, so I'm kind of just trying it on for both of us. Then we got Rachel's little cute piece. That's gonna, it's all gonna pop. It's all gonna look good. Ooh, stretch, stretch, stretch. So, this is the large. I think it fits pretty good. Um, so I'm not worried about this one. I'm worried about the next one. I don't know if you're gonna be able to fit into the. Stefan's trying it on for me. Kids XL. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. If he can fit into it, then I can fit into it because we share clothes. <laughs> you make your quads look good. <laughs> so this is the kids' extra large. Um, it's kind of form fitting. It's I'm like Michael with the. the oh, I'm on rip. <laughs> um, yeah. So if you think you can be comfortable in these, oh, I mean, I'll wear them below my belly. <laughs> because they're tight, you know. <laughs> 
then you can do this? I mean, I don't want to do, uh, there's no other options, really. <laughs> I could, do they have two larges of the other ones? They didn't. <laughs> the squats are paying off. <laughs> I'll let you make the decision. We can go see if they have another large. Okay. All right, so got some Black Santa socks as well. Um, but the game plan is this. So we're going to get Rachel's thing. We're going to get the large. Was this extra large, right? The large. We think the medium would be perfect for both of us, but they don't have that. And then the kid's extra large. We're just going to go ahead and hold off on that. But we're going to try to see if the other target nearby has a size so that we can match. So we're gonna head over there next. Erica's gonna get dropped off so she can start making our dinner. Um, and I'm gonna go to the target and see what we can do. Which is luck. All right, I'm at the other target and they have no mediums. They have no, they have no, nothing. All they have is one double XL. Obviously that's not gonna work, but check this out. I just looked at the mannequin and the mannequin has a size medium, so should I hijack the man, the mannequin? I think I should hijack the mannequin. Come on, come on, I'm about to take those off real quick. I'm gonna be nice and ask somebody. Never hurts to ask. I just asked an employee and I made it sound super desperate, like my girlfriend loves these pants. It's like her birthday, she loves Christmas. She has to have these. Can I get it off the mannequin? He said, no problem. So someone's gonna come help. <laughs> Let's go. The mission accomplished, guys. We got the goods. It's like about to be 9 p.m. So it's time to go home, watch the Lakers game tonight, eat some food, rest up. Right, we made it back and <laughs> check it out. Erica's out here putting in work. When the kitchen looks like this all crazy, that means she's been putting in that work. Look at this. About the bash. So tell them what's going down in here. We got chicken tortilla soup. Chicken tortilla soup. I made it using soup. a crock pot chicken earlier today, just unflavored, so we could like season it with other things, like how, as we wanted it. And then we got chicken tortilla soup, okay. which is very like it's a super low fat, high protein, moderate carb, pretty actually kind of low carb. Perfect. And this is pretty much a whole bunch of the stuff that we bought yesterday, all in here, right? Yeah, all that stuff that Worst of Fun was like, I wouldn't even ever think to buy this. <laughs> well, we're putting it to work right now. So we're about to bash on this, watch the Lakers game. They got to get that dub, hang out with Miss Rach, and enjoy the night. That's it, guys. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, for real. That is it. It's been a long day. Till tomorrow. Peace. No wasted steps. No wasted steps.